Good to see y'all this morning. It's good to be in the house of the Lord, isn't it? So stand with us. Let's just, before we go to the Lord and worship, let's have a, um, let's have a moment of prayer and just ask him to bless our day and all that um, he has for us and all that we would offer before him.
Now he rose from the synagogue and entered Simon's house. But Simon's wife's mother was sick with a high fever, and they made a request of him concerning her. So he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she rose and served them. And when the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them, and he healed them. He healed every one of them. Oh, what a difference when Jesus passed by them and touched them. Who in here, without a doubt, has been touched by the hand of the Lord? And it has made all the difference. He still moves among us with the answer to all that we need. He doesn't just have the answer. He is the answer. He is still our healer. That's what Brother Les has been talking about for the last several weeks. He is our healer. He is our peace. He is our righteousness. Whatever it is that you need, he is that. He is our help in the time of trouble. We just have to reach out and touch him. And think of Blind Bartimaeus who sat on the side of the road and he just called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And they tried to shut him up. They're like, he doesn't have time for you. Just be quiet. But he called out all the louder, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And he did. And then there was the woman who just pressed through the crowd and touched the hem of his garment. She didn't let anybody get in her way, nor said, you don't touch him. But she did. And she was healed. And then there were the ones who had a friend who needed Jesus to touch their friend. And they climbed up on a roof and cut a hole in the roof because they needed Jesus to touch their friend. So maybe you need a touch and you need to reach out and touch him. Or maybe you have a friend or family member who needs Jesus to touch him. It doesn't matter. He is still here and he is still healing. And I believe with all my heart that he still heals every manner of disease. Everything you need, he can still do that today. We just have to reach out and touch Jesus. And he still passes by us. Amen. He still hears us. Sing with us. Reach out and touch the Lord. i 
You may be seated. Is that your testimony? Oh, what a difference. Since Jesus passed by. Praise God. Praise God. It makes a difference. If Jesus doesn't make a difference in our life, si Jesús no hace la en nuestras vidas, we might want to go to prayer. A lo mejor tenemos que ir a la oración. Because Jesus makes a difference porque, in our lives. Porque Jesús hace la diferencia en nuestras vidas. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Alabados al Señor. I was glad when they said to me, Estaba contento cuando me dijeron, let's go to the house of the Lord. Hay que ir a la casa del Señor. Aren't you glad to be here today? ¿Están contentos de estar aquí hoy? Wouldn't you rather be here than in jail? ¿Quisieran estar aquí mejor que en la cárcel? Wouldn't you rather be here than in the hospital? ¿Quisieran estar aquí mejor que el hospital? Wouldn't you rather be here than in Hawaii? ¿Mejor aquí que en Hawaii? <laughs> Don't answer that last question. No respondan a esa pregunta. I know for some of you, Hawaii is sounding pretty good right now. A muchos de ustedes, a lo mejor se les suena bien Hawaii. But I'm glad you're in the house of the Lord. Pero estoy contento que estás aquí hoy. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. We've been searching the scriptures to learn more about God. Hemos buscado las escrituras para aprender más acerca de Dios. We learned that God is our peace. Conocemos que Dios es nuestra paz. God is our sanctification. Dios es nuestra santificación. God is our provider. Dios es nuestro proveedor. The Lord is our banner. El Señor es nuestro estandarte. The Lord is there. El Señor está ahí. And he is God with us. Y él, y él es Dios con nosotros. He is the Lord our healer. Él es el Señor nuestro sanador. He told us I am the good shepherd. Él nos dijo yo soy el buen pastor. Our God is the mighty one. Nuestro Dios es el poderoso. God is love. Dios es amor. God rules over everything. Dios gobierna sobre todo. And last week, y la semana pasada, the Lord is our righteousness. El Señor es nuestra justicia. So we we learned from the scriptures some names that God gave Himself in the Old Testament, especially. Y aprendemos de los nombres que Dios se dio a él mismo en el Viejo Testamento. But if someone asks you, who is this Jesus? Pero si alguien te pregunta, ¿Quién es este Jesús? Then, then you might want to begin to explain to them Puedes empezar en, eh, en diciendo what Jesus called himself. Lo que Je Jesús se llamaba él mismo. What did Jesus call himself? ¿Qué se decía él mismo, Jesús? So let's begin to look at what Jesus said about himself. Comencemos ahora a ver lo que Jesús dijo acerca de sí mismo. This morning our key scripture is John chapter 6 verse 35. Esta mañana nuestra escritura clave es Juan 6, 35. When Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Cuando Jesús declaró, yo soy el pan de vida. I am the bread of life. Yo soy el pan de vida. Here's that scripture. Esta es la escritura. John 6, 35. Juan 6, 35. And Jesus said to them, Jesús les dijo, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Yo soy el pan de vida. El que viene, a mí viene nunca tendrá hambre, y al que a mí cree no tendrá sed jamás. Jesus made a powerful statement. Jesús hizo una declaración poderosa. Especially considering those who heard him in person. Especialmente considerando a aquellos que le escucharon en persona. Sometimes the words that Jesus said had a different impact on them than they do on us. A veces las palabras tenían diferente impacto a la que nosotros tenemos. To help us understand the impact of his words. Para mejor entender el impacto de sus palabras. Let me remind you of what happened in Exodus chapter 3. Quiero recordarles de lo que sucedió en Éxodos capítulo 3. If you're reading the Bible this year, say amen. Si lees la palabra este año, diga amen. Oh, that makes my heart feel good. Eso hace sentir mi corazón bien. Read the book. Lee el libro. Read the book. Lee el libro. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in Exodus chapter 3, in Exodus capítulo 3, Moses encountered God in a miraculous way. Moisés se encontró con Dios en una manera milagrosa. As he observed a bush that was burning, al observar una zarza que ardía, but not consumed, pero no se consumía. That got his attention. Eso agarró su atención. Wouldn't that get your attention? Eso te llamaría tu atención. You're out there uh, taking care of your livestock. Estás afuera cuidando de tus animales. And you see a bush on fire. Y miras una zarza ardiendo. You don't know how it got on fire in the first place. No sabes cómo prendió fuego en la en, Them, and, and it just keeps burning. Y sigue quemando. It keeps burning. Y sigue quemando. It keeps burning. Y sigue quemando. You know what happens if you if you lit this on fire? ¿Sabes lo que pasa si pones fuego a esto? If I know, alguien sabe? I'm sorry. Glenna would be mad. Glenna se enojaría. 
together to hers. Porque es de ella. Well, I guess I won't do my demonstration this morning. Entonces hoy no haré mi demostración hoy. But Connie, if, if you lit this on fire, pero Connie, si pones esto en fuego, it would eventually burn up. Es, se quemaría. And be gone. Y ya no existiría. But this, this bush was on fire. Pero esta zarza estaba ardiendo. It just kept on burning. Y seguía quemando. Un milagro. A miracle. Right? ¿Verdad? It was a miracle. Era un milagro. Do you know the Bible describes God this way? ¿Sabes que la Biblia describe a Dios de esta manera? Our God is a consuming fire. Nuestro Dios es un fuego consumiente. That doesn't mean he burns you up. No significa que te quema. And you burn out. Y ya no puedes más. That means this fire comes in your life. Significa que el fuego llega a tu vida. And it keeps on burning. Y sigue quemando. And it keeps on burning. Y sigue quemando. And it keeps on burning. Y sigue quemando. People ought to be able to see our lives. La gente puede mirar nuestras vidas. And say they're on fire for God. Y pueden decir están están ardiendo por Dios. But it doesn't destroy them. No los destruye. They keep on burning. Ellos siguen quemando. People ought to be able to see a miracle in us. Las personas tienen que mirar un milagro en nosotros. Because if Jesus lives in your heart, porque si Jesús Jesús vive en tu corazón. There's a miracle in your life. Hay un milagro en tu vida. Can you tell me his name? Pueden decir su nombre. Jesus. 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 He saw this miracle. Él miró este milagro. God got his attention. Y lo agarró su atención. God gave Moses instructions to go back to Egypt and tell Pharaoh to release the children of Israel. Dios le dio instrucciones a Moisés para que regresara a Egipto y le dijera al faraero que liberara a todos los hijos de Israel. Moses wanted to know what he should say when the people asked him what the name is of the one who sent him. Moisés quería saber qué debía decir cuando el pueblo le preguntó cuál era el nombre de el que lo envió. Exodus 3, verse 14. Exodus 3, versículo 14. And God says to Moses, y, God said to Moses, I am who I am. Y respondió, y respondió Dios a Moisés, yo soy el que yo soy. And he said, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Y dijo así, dirás a los hijos de Israel, yo soy, me envió a vosotros. The Jewish people knew that God had revealed himself in that way. Los, el pueblo judío sabía que Dios se había revelado de esa manera. So when Jesus began declaring things like, I am the bread of life, Así que cuando Jesús declaró cosas como yo soy el pan de vida, he got their attention. llamó su atención. They were wondering just who do you think you are. Estaban pensando quién te crees tú. There's a lot going on in, in, chapter, in John chapter 6. Hay muchas cosas sucediendo en capítulo 6 de Juan. Read, read the book. Lee el libro. John fed around 5,000 people with natural bread and had some left over. Jesús alimentó a unas 5,000 personas con pan natural y le sobró algo. He left and went to a mountain alone. Se fue y se fue solo a una montaña. And later he walked on the water to get to where his disciples were. Y luego caminó sobre la agua para llegar a donde estaban sus discípulos. People were excited to see someone who could create bread. La gente estaba emocionada de ver a alguien que podría crear el pan. Wouldn't you be excited? Estarías emocionado? Imagine if we come together for a, for a celebration. Imagínate que estamos juntos para una celebración. And all of a sudden we decided that the food we ordered would not be here. Y de repente la comida que ordenamos no llegará. And so we asked Carlisle, would you pray for the food that's not there? Y, y si le decimos a Carla que ore por la comida que no está ahí. <laughs> And Carla prays, oh God, provide. Y Carla dice, él le ora, Dios provee. And then there's food. Y luego hay comida. Enough for everyone. Suficiente para todos. With leftovers to take home. Hasta pa suficiente para llevarse a la casa. That maybe that wouldn't excite you. Y a lo mejor no te emocionaría. But it would excite me. Pero me emocionaría a mí. I'd want to eat with Carlisle all the time. Yo quiero comer con Carlisle todo el tiempo. I want to invite him to my house. Yo lo quiero invitar a mi casa. I'd say we're having Thanksgiving dinner. Le dije vamos a tener cena de acción de gracias. Would you bring it? Puedes traerla. I have a crowd coming over my house. Tengo mucha gente que va a venir a mi casa. Would you pray for the food? Puedes orar por la comida? They were excited to see someone who could create bread. Estaban emocionados, emocionados en ver a alguien que crea el pan. Who doesn't like free food? ¿Qué no le gusta la comida gratis? Anybody here not like free food? ¿Alguien aquí no le gusta la comida gratis? You ever been to Costco? ¿Has sido a Costco? You ever been to Sam's Club? ¿Has sido a Sam's Club? The best time to go? El mejor tiempo de ir? It's when they're making all those samples. Es cuando están haciendo todas las pruebas. 
You go around lunchtime. Si vas al lado el tiempo de lonche, you don't need to stop for lunch. No tienes que parar para llegar al lonche. Just don't go to the same person over and over again. No más no vayas a la misma persona una y otra vez. But if you make your rounds, pero si vas alrededor, you'll, you'll find plenty of free food. Encontrarás suficiente comida gratis. Who doesn't like free food? A quién no le gusta la comida gratis? Just imagine. Imagínate. If everywhere you went, the food was free. Que donde quiera que vayas, la comida sea gratis. Joseph, is the food free at Food Line? <laughs> Joseph, la comida at Food Line is gratis? Do people try to get it for free? <laughs> la gente se la quiere llevar gratis? Sue and, and Crystal, is the food free at Walmart? Sue y Crystal, la comida es gratis en Walmart? Tamara, sometimes they try to get it for free, don't they? Tamara, a veces la tratan de llevársela gratis. I remember when we first moved to North Carolina. Me acuerdo que cuando primera vez llegamos a Norte Carolina. They had a law we didn't know anything about. They had a law we didn't know anything about. Tenían una ley que no sabíamos de nada. It was called the Blue Law. Se llamaba la Ley Azul. Do you remember the Blue Law? ¿Se acuerdan de la Ley Azul? The Blue Law on Sunday, most things were closed. La Ley Azul era que el domingo muchas cosas estaban cerradas. We were not from the south. No éramos del sur. We were from the west. Éramos del oeste. They didn't have that law. No tenían esa ley. On Sunday, you go get what you want. El domingo vas a agarrar lo que tú quieras. So we moved here and discovered there was a Blue Law. Y nos movimos aquí y descubrimos que hay una Ley Azul. Because on a Sunday after church, we went to try to find some groceries. Porque el domingo después de la iglesia tratábamos de ir a buscar el mandado. The stores are closed. Y todas las tiendas cerradas. Well, there was a couple in the church who told us. Había una pareja en la iglesia que nos dijo. If you ever need anything, come si, see us. Si necesitas algo, ven a míranos. So we showed up at their house. Y llegamos a su casa. Here. <laughs> they answered the door. Abrió la puerta. I said, hello, brother. Y dice, hola, hermano. Remember you said if we ever need anything, come see you. ¿Te acuerdas cuando dijiste que si necesitamos algo que te miráramos? He said yeah. Y nos dijo sí. I said well, we need some lunch. Y necesitamos noche. I said we don't have any groceries. No tenemos mandado. And the stores are closed. Y las tiendas cerradas. He said yes, it's Sunday. Y dice sí, es domingo. So they fed us lunch. Y nos dieron de comer. And they explained to us the blue law. Y nos explicaron la ley azul. Oh my. Oh, it was it was a it was a good thing once we got used to it. Era una buena cosa ya que nos impunimos. But we were surprised. Pero nos sorprendió. We all like free food. Todos nos gusta la comida gratis. But Jesus explained there was something more important than their necessary food. Pero Jesús explicó que había algo más importante que la comida necesaria. Is anybody here not going to eat anything for the rest of the week? Alguien aquí no va a comer para el fin de esta semana. Some of you can't. Hardly wait to go get something to eat. Muchos de ustedes no pueden esperar para ir a comer. Yeah, we like putting some food in us. Nos gusta meter con mucha comida. But there are things more important than our necessary food. Pero hay cosas más importantes que la comida necesaria. So Jesus was explaining this to them. Así que Jesús le explicó esto a ellos. Let's go back to John chapter 6, begin with verse 28. Regresemos a Juan capítulo 6 y... Y comencemos el versículo 28. Then they said to him, What shall we do that we may work the works of God? Entonces le dijeron, ¿Qué debemos hacer para poner en, en práctica las obras de Dios? Jesus answered and said to them, Respondió Jesús y dijo, This is the work of God. Esta es la obra de Dios. That you believe in him who he sent. Que crees en él que él ha enviado. They were interested in trying to get in on this free bread. Ellos estaban interesados en este pan gratis. What do we have to do to get it? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer para obtenerlo? Jesus said, you want to know what it means to work for God? Y Jesús les dijo, ¿Quieres saber lo que significa trabajar por Dios? Believe in the one that he sent. Creer en el que él ha enviado. They knew he was talking about himself. El su ellos supieron, ellos saben que él estaba hablando de él mismo. Because in verse 30 we see, Porque en versículo 30 miramos, Therefore they said to him, le dijeron entonces, What sign will you perform then that we may see it and believe? You. What work will you do? ¿Qué señal pues haces tú para que veamos y, cream y te creamos qué obras haces? In other words, prove it. En otras palabras, pruébalo. If you're the Messiah, prove it. Si eres el Mesías, pr pruébalo. They wanted him to go get a crown and put it on his head. Querían agarrar una corona y ponérsela, eh, ponérsela en el en la cabeza. Pick up a sword. Agarrar un, una navaja. Get on a white horse. Agarrarse en un caballo blanco. And lead the army and set them free. Y guiar al, al, 
a la, al army y hacerlos liberados. I guess it wasn't enough that he fed them free food. Yo creo que no fue suficiente la comida gratis. He healed people. Sanó a la gente. Raised people from the dead. Resucitó a, a, a los muertos. Walked on the water. Caminó sobre la agua. Turned water into wine. Hizo la agua en vino. They're like, who do you think you are? Y dijeron, ¿quién te crees? Prove, prove that you are the who. You are the son of God. Enséñanos que tú en verdad eres el hijo de Dios. What are you going to do so that we can see it and then believe it? ¿Qué es lo que vas a hacer para que nosotros lo miremos y te creamos? Then they began to brag. Y empezaron a, di a di decir más cosas. Do you know who you're talking to, Jesus? ¿Sabes a quién estás hablando, Jesús? Verse 31. En versículo 31. Our fathers. Nuestros padres. Ate the manna in the desert. Comieron el maná en el desierto. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Como está escrito, pan del cielo les dio de a comer. See, the Jews keep referring to Moses and the manna in the wilderness. Los judíos siguen refiriéndose a Moisés y al maná en el desierto. They had a strong tradition that it was through the merits of Moses that God fed them with manna. Tenía una fuerte tradición de que fue a través de méritos de Moisés que Dios les alimentó con maná. In fact, they had perpetuated this tradition into the idea that it was their keeping of the law. Habían perpetuado esta tradición en la idea de que su observancia de la ley as given through Moses that now kept them in line for eternal life. Tal como fue dada por medio de Moisés, lo que ahora los mantenía en línea. See, they had it figured out. Ellos ya lo habían descubrido. They had, the Jews had, had it all worked out. Los judíos ya conocían todo. You keep the law. Agarran la ley. And you'll make it into heaven. Y llegarás al cielo. And that's just for us. Y es solo para nosotros. We are God's chosen people. Somos los escogidos de Dios. That was true. Es verdad. And they thought if we just keep the law, y pensaron, si solo mantenemos la ley, we'll be okay. Estaremos bien. While we wait for the Messiah. Mientras que esperamos por el Mesías. And here's the Messiah right in front of them. Y el Mesías enfrente de ellos. And they're like, prove it to us. Y dicen, prueba que eres el Mesías. It's kind of like me on Sunday morning. Es a veces como yo en, los, en la mañana de los domingos. I sing, reach out and touch the Lord. What? I sing, reach out and touch the Lord. Yo canto alcanzar y al Señor as he passes by. Mientras que él pasa. Do you really believe he's here? ¿En verdad crees que él está aquí? Does he need to prove it to you? Él se lo tiene, te lo tiene que comprobar. Does he have anything to prove? Tiene que comprobar. No, he does not. No necesita. Verse 32, then Jesus said to them, en versículo 32, Jesús les, y Jesús les dijo, Most assuredly, I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven. De cierto, de cierto, os digo, no os dio Moisés el pan del cielo. So he was telling them they're, they're wrong. Le estaba diciendo que era incorrecto. Don't you love it when somebody tells you you're wrong? ¿Qué no te gusta cuando alguien te dice que tú estás en lo incorrecto? Isn't that easy to accept? Eso es fácil de aceptar. You, you thought something all your life. Pensaste algo toda tu vida. And now someone says, no, you're wrong about that. Y ahora alguien te dice, no, eso es, eso es incorrecto. That's not easy for us to accept, is it? No es fácil para aceptarlo, ¿verdad? Because they, they had always been taught that Moses gave the bread to the children of Israel. Porque siempre fueron enseñados que Moisés les dio el pan a los hijos de Israel. I don't understand why they were taught that. No sé por qué así le enseñaron. Because if you read the book, porque si lees la palabra, who gave them the bread? ¿Quién les dio el pan? God did, that's right. God God did. Se lo dio. And now look at what he says. Y ahora mira lo que dice. He says, but my father Pero mi padre gives you the true bread from heaven. My father gives you the true bread from heaven. Mas mi padre os da el verdadero pan del cielo. My father. Mi padre. That's not the way Jews refer to God. Así no es como los judíos refieren a su a su a Dios. They didn't even think you could say his name. No ni pensaron poder decir su nombre. You couldn't write his name. No podías escribir su nombre. He was so holy you couldn't refer to him. Era tan santo que no lo podías decir. And here is this man standing in front of them. Y aquí está un hombre parado en frente de ellos. They know who he's talking about. Y saben de quién está hablando. He's talking about God. Él está hablando de Dios. He said, that's my father. Y dice, es mi padre. 
padre. That's my father. Es mi padre. He was shaking things up. Él estaba revolviendo He todo. was bothering people. Él estaba haciendo la gente enojar. In fact, you may remember Así se pueden acordar. that because of the way Jesus talked to the Father, la manera en que Jesús hablaba a su padre, his followers said, Lord, would you teach us to pray? Sus seguidores le dijeron, ¿nos puedes enseñar a orar? We want to pray like you pray. Queremos orar como tú oras. You remember that? ¿Se acuerdan de eso? They said, teach us to pray. Y dicen, enséñanos a orar. And he said, when you pray, y él dice, cuando oras, pray like this. Ora así. Padre nuestro. Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre. My Father, my fa mi Padre nuestro, which art in heaven, que estás en el cielo, hallowed be thy name. Santificado sea tu nombre. Padre nuestro, my, my father. father, my Father, my Father. That's how he taught padre. them to pray. Así es como lo enseñaban a orar. My Father, mi Padre. That's not how they pray. Así no es como oraban ellos. He's teaching them something new. Le está enseñando algo nuevo. He's teaching him that. God is his father. Le está enseñando que Dios es su padre. Well, come on, people. Y así, gente. If God is his father, si Dios es su padre, then what is he? ¿Qué es él? He's the son. Él es el hijo. Uh -huh. He's the son, Joseph. Él es el hijo, Joseph. Yesterday, I asked Joseph a question. Ayer le pregunté a Joseph una pregunta. I said, a, a, a young man was rushed to the hospital. Le dije, un hombre joven fue al hospital. And he'd been in an accident. Y pasó por un accidente. And he, he needed surgery. Y necesitaba cirugía. And the, they, they took him to the operating room. Y lo llevaron a, al cuarto de operación. And when the surgeon came in, y cuando el cirujano vino, the surgeon looked at him. El cirujano lo said, I can't operate on this young man. Y dijo, no puedo operar en este joven. Because he is my son. Porque es mi hijo. But it wasn't his father. Pero no era su padre. It wasn't his grandfather. No era su padrastro. Then who was the surgeon? ¿Quién era el cirujano? Somebody help me. Alguien ayúdame. Joseph, help me. Joseph. I'm sorry. It was his mother, y'all. Era la madre. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> It was his mother. Era la madre. Our minds don't think that way sometimes. Nuestras mentes mother. a veces no piensan. Así. Hey. Women can be surgeons. También las mujeres son cirujanas. When Jesus said, "My Father," cuando Jesús dice, "Mi Padre," he was reinforcing that he is the Son. Estaba alcanzando reinforcing, making that point better. Reforzando ese punto. Yes, yes. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. Mi Padre os da el verdadero pan del cielo. In other words. En otras palabras, if you think manna from heaven is good, si crees que el maná del cielo es bueno, which God gave the children of Israel, mientras que Dios le dio a los hijos de Israel, guess what He has in mind for you? ¿Qué crees lo que él tiene en mente para ti? The true bread, el pan verdadero, the true bread, el verdadero pan, is from heaven, del cielo. For the bread of God, this is verse 33. Porque el pan de Dios, este es versículo 33. Is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Es aquel que descendió del cielo y da vida al mundo. Then they said to him, y le dijeron, Lord, give us this bread always. Señor, danos siempre este pan. I don't think they really got it yet. No creo que todavía se lo dieron. This was the point where Jesus had reached the high point of his popularity. Este era el punto en el que Jesús había alcanzado el punto más alto de su popularidad. In fact, the crowds wanted to take him by force if necessary and make him their king. De hecho, las multitudes querían llevarlo por a fuerzas si era necesario a convertirlo en su rey. That's all it took for them. Era todo lo que querían. Give me free food. Dame comida gratis. Promise me I'll have bread forever. Prométeme que tendré pan para siempre. We'll make you the king. Y daremos el rey. Now maybe that's a message for us today. A veces es el mensaje hoy. I'll give you everything free. Te, de, te doy todo gratis. Make me your president. Hazme tu presidente. That's a message for another day. A lo mejor es un mensaje para otro día. They wanted to make him their king. Querían convertirlo en su rey. So because of this, Jesus crossed the lake to get away from their demands. Debido a esto, Jesús cruzó el lago de, para alejarse de sus demandas. But the next day, they figured out where he was. Pero al día siguiente, cuando se dieron cuenta de dónde estaba. And the growing crowds got some boats and followed him across the lake. La creciente multitud, como algunos bot, tomó algunos botes y lo siguieron a través del lago. And it was at this point that Jesus told the record-breaking crowd. Y fue en este momento que Jesús le dijo a una multitud que rompió el John 6 and 35 again. Juan 6, 35. And Jesus said to them, Jesús les dijo, 
I'm the bread of life. Yo soy el pan de vida. I'm the bread of life. El yo soy el pan de vida. He who comes to me shall never hunger. El que, me, el que a mí viene nunca tendrá hambre. And he who believes in me shall never thirst. Y el que cree en mí no, no tendrá sed jamás. Anyone here believe in Jesus? Alguien aquí cree en Jesús? You ever been hungry? Has tenido hambre? Come on. Sure. ¿Verdad? Sí, you ¿verdad? ever been thirsty? Has tenido sed? So, so he must have not been talking about physical hunger. A lo mejor no estaba hablando de hambre físico. Or physical thirst. O sed física. He was talking about something else. Estaba hablando de otra cosa. When, when Moses, when, sorry, when Jesus said Moses didn't give your fathers the manna, God gave it to them. Cuando Jesús dijo Moisés no dio a tus, a tus padres el maná. He didn't jive with their beliefs. Dios se lo dio, no acordaba con sus creencias. When he told them the wilderness manna did not impart eternal life to anyone, it was a blow to their nationalistic ego. Cuando les dijo que el maná del desierto no impartía vida eterna a nadie, fue un golpe a su ego nacionalista. I'm sure they were thinking like this. Yo sé que estaban pensando así. How dare you insult us? ¿Cómo puedes insultarnos? Who, just who do you think you are? ¿Quién crees que eres tú? And above all, when he stood there and said, I am the bread of life. Y sobre todo cuando él se paró allí y dijo, yo soy el verdadero pan de vida. Yeah, it shocked them. Lo sorprendió. He was not only directly contradicting their beliefs about how they could obtain eternal life. Él no solo estaba contradiciendo directamente sus creencias acerca de cómo podían obtener la vida eterna. But he was replacing their law keeping and adherence to tradition with himself. Sino que estaban reemplazando su observancia de la ley y su adhesión a la tradición como sí mismo. Now, all of us have certain traditions we respect. Y muchos tenemos tradiciones que respetamos. But we need to be willing to surrender them to Jesus. Pero tenemos que estar listos para rendirlos a Jesús. Maybe you've been taught something all your life. A lo mejor te enseñaron algo toda tu vida. You need to be willing to surrender it to Jesus. Tienes que estar listo para darlo por vencido por Jesús. I can remember a time. Yo me acuerdo una vez. In our organization. En nuestra organización, when you were not allowed to question what was being taught, cuando no podías preguntar las cosas que estaban enseñando, the attitude was, la actitud fue, someone prayed about it, alguien oró por eso, someone studied it, alguien lo estudió, a long time ago, hace mucho, God helped them understand it, Dios los ayudó a entenderlo, and that's the way it is, y así es como es, but you cannot question anything that the church was teaching. Y no puedes preguntar las co cosas de lo que se fue enseñado. But what's interesting, lo interesante, is our organization didn't begin that way. Es que nuestra organización no empezó de esa manera. All the Church of God organizations, todas las organizaciones de Dios, they de began, las iglesias, they began seeking the truth. Empezaron a buscar la verdad, verdad. We want to seek the truth. Queremos buscar la verdad, verdad. And if, and if we're wrong, we want God to correct us. Y si estamos incorrectos, queremos que Dios nos corrija. But somewhere along the line, pero una, en un tiempo, we began to get proud. Empezamos a orgullecernos. Said we can't be wrong. Y podemos decir no somos incorrectos. No you're, estamos incorrectos. You ever been around somebody who, who's never wrong? Has estado alguien que nunca está incorrecto? Wouldn't you like to go across the country with that person? Quisieras ir a través de los países con esa persona They're never wrong. nunca tienen el nunca están incorrectos Anybody here think you're never wrong? alguien aquí siempre piensa que están en lo correcto I got news for you. tengo noticia para ti We're all wrong sometimes. todos nos equivocamos a veces Watch this. mira Even your pastor's wrong sometimes. hasta tu pastor se equivoca a veces One day, maybe your pastor's wife will even be wrong. Una, a lo mejor un día la, el, la esposa del pastor se equivocará. Just keep the points. Nada más son puntos. <laughs> esposa feliz. Wife have, happy wife. Uh, vida vida feliz. Happy life. Amen. 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 <laughs> okay. Oh, God help us. Dios ayúdanos. He was replacing what they thought. Reemplazaba lo que ellos pensaban. With him. Con él. Now I got good news for you. Ahora tengo buenas noticias para Are you ustedes. ready? Están listos? Are you sitting down? Están sentados? Except for me and Brian. Excepto para mí y Brian. Have good news. Tengo buena noticia. I'm going to wrap it up now. Ahora lo voy a terminar. You know what that means, Lana? Es lo que sabe lo que significa. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. 
Here it goes. Aquí va. Jesus is the bread of life. Jesús es el pan de vida. Jesus is what you need. Jesús es lo que necesitas. Only Jesus y can solo, satisfy. Y solo Jesús puede satisfacer. That's what the word is trying to teach us. Es lo que la palabra nos trata de enseñar. Jesus is the bread of life. Jesús es el pan de vida. He is what you need to survive spiritually. Él es lo que nos necesitas para sobrevivir espiritualmente. You will starve without him. Morirás de hambre sin él. You will die without him. Morirás sin él. You are lost without him. Estás perdido sin Jesus él. Jesus is the bread of life. Jesús es el pan de vida. That's what he was trying to teach them. Es lo que nos se trata de enseñar. More than what you need to eat. Más de lo que tienes que comer. You need me. Me necesitas a mí. That's what Jesus was trying to tell them. Es lo que Jesús les trata de decir. Jesus is what you need. Jesús es lo que necesitas. And you may say, a lo mejor puedes decir, hey pastor, I got Jesus. Oye pastor, tengo a Jesús. But I need some new shoes. Pero necesito zapatos nuevos. I'm not saying you don't need anything else. No, no digo que no necesitas nada más. But what I'm saying is more important than anything else is you need Jesus. Pero lo que te estoy diciendo es que lo más importante que necesitas es Jesús. Because if you have new shoes, porque si tienes nuevos zapatos, but you don't have Jesus, pero no tienes a Jesús, what good is it going to do? Qué bueno va a hacer eso. What good does it do if you gain the whole world? Qué bueno si ganas a todo el mundo. And you don't know Jesus. Y no conoces a Jesús. Then you're lost. Ah, estás perdido. Then you're hungry. Y tienes hambre. Then you'll die. Y te morirás. Now, if you've ever, anybody here ever been hungry? Alguien aquí ha tenido hambre? Anybody here hungry now? Alguien aquí tiene hambre ahorita? I see some hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, you know what happens when you get hungry? It seems to get worse and worse. Sabes lo que pasa cuando tienes hambre? Empieza a hacerse peor y peor. Now, has anyone ever been starving before? Alguien aquí ha ha tenido mucha hambre? We, we may think we have been starving. A lo mejor pensamos que teníamos tanta hambre. But I mean really starving. Pero tanta hambre. You know what happens? ¿Sabes lo que pasa? Your body begins to deteriorate. Tu cuerpo empieza a deteriorarse. And in fact, if you don't have food, y si no tienes comida, after a while, de, en un tiempo, your body begins to deprive other parts of your body. Tu cuerpo empieza a agarrar nutrientes de otras with, partes. With nutrition and strength, so it can survive. Y agarra las nutriciones para tener fuerza para sobrevivir. You have to protect the heart. Tienen que proteger el corazón. Tienen que proteger el, la, los pulmones. The, the, the hands and the feet can go without strength. Las manos y los pies pueden perder su, su fuerza. But if you're not breathing, pero si no estás respirando, your heart's not beating, y tu corazón no está palpateando, it's not good. No es bueno. And, and, and your body has to protect your brain. Y tu cuerpo tiene que proteger tu cerebro. When somebody goes in shock, cuando alguien está en shock, Scott, what happens is things start to shut down, right? Scott, lo que pasa es que todo empieza a apagarse. Your body's trying to protect itself. Su cuerpo está tratando de protegerte. Protect the brain. Protege el cerebro. So the brain can tell the body what to do. Para que el cerebro diga al cuerpo protect qué hacer. Protect the heart. Protege el corazón. Protect the lungs. Protege los pulmones. Keep the air going. Agarra el, el aire que siga. Keep the blood flowing. Y ayuda a la sangre que siga. If you don't have Jesus, si no tienes a Jesús, you're starving spiritually. Tiene, estás con hambre espiritualmente. And spiritually, you will get weaker. Y espiritualmente te debilitarás y debilitarás. And weaker. Y debilitarás. And weaker. Y debilitarás. Jesus is what you need. Jesús es lo que necesitas. More than those new shoes. Más que esos zapatos More nuevos. More than that new car. Más que ese carro More nuevo. More than that new job. Más que ese trabajo nuevo. More than healing for someone you love. Más que sanidad para More alguien que amas. More than healing for yourself. Más que sanidad More para alguien que amas. More than a new relationship. Más que tus relaciones. More than a better relationship. Más que una relación mejor you need Jesus necesitas a Jesús more than you need a new pastor más que necesitas un nuevo pastor Jesus is more important than all that Jesús es más importante que todo right. eso verdad Jesus is the bread of life Jesús es el pan de la vida Jesus is what you need Jesús es lo que necesitas y también solo Jesús puede satisfacer and only, satisfacer. satisfacer and only Jesus can satisfy only Jesus can satisfy Solo Jesús puede satisfacer. Nothing else is going to satisfy. Nada más puede satisfacer. Some people try to find satisfaction in, in busyness. Muchos quieren buscar la satisfacción en, en, 
estar ocupado. If I just stay busy all the time, si solo me ocupo todo el tiempo, I don't have to face what's really happening. No tengo que enfrentar lo que está pasando. Someone try to, someone, some people try to drink away their problems. Muchos tratan de tomarse todos sus problemas. Uh, uh, at the memorial service for my, my friend Pastor Kimball yesterday, en el servicio de memoria de mi amigo Pastor Kimball, uh, a young man spoke. Un hombre joven habló. Who said his grandfather used to go to this church? Dijo que su abuelo antes iba en esta igle esa iglesia. When he died, he didn't know how to handle it. Que cuando él se murió no sabía cómo enfrentarlo. So I turned to alcohol. Así que busqué el alcohol. He said, but this pastor. Pero dije, este pastor. And he mentioned another pastor. Y mencionó otro pastor. He said they helped me. Me ayudaron. And he had his beautiful little daughter next to him. Y tenía su hija con él. He said I'm getting ready to go to Boston to a treatment program. Y dice que ahora estoy listo para ir a Boston para un tratamiento. And he said now I know that the death is not the end of things. Y ahora sé que la muerte no es el final de todo. But if you have Jesus. Pero si tienes a Jesús. It's the beginning of forever. Es el empiezo para el para siempre. It was wonderful. Es algo maravilloso. People look to all kinds of things for satisfaction. Mucha gente busca las cosas para satisfacerse. In fact, nowadays, y en estos días, people people try to to find satisfaction. A lot of people. La gente trata de buscar la satisfacción. In in an imitation world. En una en un mundo imitado. I'm going to get on my phone. Voy a estar en mi celular. Or my tablet. O en mi tableta. Or my computer. O en mi computadora. Or the television. O en la televisión. Or, or in books. O en unos libros. Or in movies. O en películas. Or in music. O en música. Or entertainment. O en entretenimiento. Just something else I'm going to immerse myself in. Algo donde me pueda meter. And then I'll be satisfied. Y ya estaré satisfacido. I have a word for you today. Tengo una palabra para ti hoy. Only Jesus, solo Jesús, can satisfy. Puede satisfacer. If you don't know Jesus, si no conoces a Jesús, nothing is going to satisfy you except Jesus. Nada podrá satisfacerse excepto Jesús. If Jesus lives in your heart, si Jesús vive en tu corazón, there's no substitute for Jesus. No hay otra cosa que pueda cambiar a Jesús. There's no, there's no uh, imitation Jesus. No hay, no hay un Jesús imitado. There's no, no Jesus like. No hay una luz como Jesús. There's no Jesus Marjorie. No hay una mar no hay algo igual que Jesús. I don't know why they invented Marjorie. I don't know why they invented Marjorie. No sé por qué inventaron el Marquín. I'm not convinced it was invented to feed people. No estoy convencido pa que fue para dar de comer a, los, a la gente. But I like butter. Pero me gusta la... I like butter. What was it he said? La mantequilla. Gracias. <laughs> I like butter. I like the real thing. Me gusta la mantequilla, la verdad. I don't know which one's better for you. No sé cuál es mejor para ti. But I do know this. Pero sé esto. Spiritually speaking. Espiritualmente hablando. Jesus. Jesús. The real thing. Es lo verdadero. It's what you need. Es lo que necesitas. Jesus is the bread of life. Jesús es el pan de vida. Jesus is what you need. Jesús es lo que necesitas. Only Jesus. Y solo Jesús. Can satisfy. Puede satisfacer. Amen. Amen. Glenna's playing a song. Tony, we're going to find it. Glenna's going to tell me. I think it's Who Can Satisfy? Can you find that song, Tony? Who Can Satisfy? Yeah. Molly didn't know this song on a call, even though she doesn't have the lyrics. So you can come down and sing it. Thank you, Molly. Well, Molly told me. Hey, Molly volunteered. Molly. Va a cantar con nosotros. Gracias. Gracias. Can you stand? Si se puede poner de pie. Jesus is the bread of life. Jesus is the pan de vida. Jesus is what you need. Jesus is lo que necesita. Only Jesus. Y solo Jesús. Satisfied. Puede satisfacer. You might have to look at the words with you. Right, Molly?
be our rest, be our strength, be our peace, be our provider. You are our provider, Lord. Everything we have, Lord, is because of you. Lord, the ability to, to work, Lord, and earn an income, that, that ability comes from you, Lord. Help us not to take pride in it, Lord, but to be thankful. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, as the hands went up, you know just what we need. Some need healing. Some need uh, you to work in relationships. Some need you to save lost loved ones. Some need physical prevent, uh, provision, Lord, financial help, Jesus. Some have decisions in their face and need your help. Lord, there's nothing impossible with you. Nothing too hard for you, Jesus. You can do all these things. I believe, Lord, that as we have prayed, I am confident, I am persuaded that you have heard us. I believe you have heard us, and I believe you will answer, Jesus. So I need comfort, Lord. Comfort them, Jesus. Strengthen them, Jesus. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. Lord, I, I continue to lift up uh, the, the Pope family, Lord, the family of people Pope, and the, the church and RTP as they mourn the loss of this beloved pastor. Help his daughters, his sons, Lord, his sisters and brothers, and all of his family, Lord, help the local church, help my, the family of my friend, Chaplain Doug Stevenson, who passed away. Uh, Lord, I just ask that you would help his wife, too. Stop on that phone, please. Press stop on that phone that's recording. So let's... 